Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video session, we shall uh, add useful sites. Okay, we shall add useful sites. We already have the menu here. Uh, now, there are some uh, there are some websites you use almost every day in your classroom. Okay, there are some websites you use almost daily in your classroom. And instead of memorizing these sites, instead of memorizing it, you can just add all of it on your website so that you don't need to memorize it and start typing it, wasting time. So, uh, in my website, in my website, samiochukwemeka.com, I have a lot of these. Uh, when you click on my site, you click on math. And for something like algebra that I taught, uh, and I still teach, uh, I have videos, notes, resources. So I click on resources. And these are like a lot of resources. These are a lot of resources here. So what I'm going to do is we can add some of, I will tell you how to add some of these sites on your site. So uh, it will kind of uh, make it easier for you to just click on it and use it. Uh, so let's get started. I click on useful sites. Now, first of all, I would want to add to my site. First of all, I want to add to my. I want to add a link to my site. So that's the first thing I want to do. So what I have to do here, is I just need a text. I click on text and I drag it. Okay. So click here to edit. So first, I will say Samuel Chupu Emeka's site. Chukwemeka's website. I want it. Then uh, I can also have my seven uh, textbook. My seven textbook. Uh, pre algebra textbook. Okay. Uh, Amt Math 7 and then Amt uh, Amt Math 8 I think I think it's Amt Math 7 and Amt Math 8 okay Amt Math 8 okay like these are some of the things you use almost every day in your class uh, if you taught middle school uh so what we want to do now is let's just add this five okay uh i will highlight this when i highlight it i click link create link now in this case i'm not gonna select the third option no uh, i will select website url okay and this website url you see it is http first hypertext transfer protocol then the colon then two forward slashes then www this you know they want it just leave it this way don't put www.this.com no just put it so how would you if you don't want to you know memorize this address of typing it just go to the main site I want to go to the main site and this is this you just you know you see it as samuelchukwemeka.com but that is not the actual address of the site you will see the actual address of the site you right click you copy you go back to your work site you right click you paste so this is the actual address of the site there's an HTTP that precedes it okay and you want to check open link in new window now i am doing this workshop for begin i mean well beginners intermediate and advanced users uh, if you want to learn more about http it is a is an extensive topic so uh, just copy and paste like i did and then you want to check open link in new window you want to check this box because when they click on the site you don't want to navigate away from your site you still want your site to uh, 
to to remain where it is i will show you that how to do that so this is save and you save it okay now let's go ahead and publish this first let's publish it first and then we'll see okay so let me go to my site here yeah, the, the website uh you refresh uh, useful sites samuel chukwe maker site now look when i click on it now it opens up a new page and it brings it up right away here yeah because if i didn't check open a new page then it will now leave this page and go there so that's the thing you can also add math 7 textbook uh, you just highlight it click create link and uh, I think it's right here on my site, PHMath7, right here, copy, come here, paste, open link in new window, save, see how easy it is, pre-algebra textbook, the same thing, uh, PH pre-algebra, copy, paste open link in new window save amped mass 7 amped mass 7 amped mass 7 is here copy um paste open link in new window save so uh, you see and if you just point at it it tells you go to this you know you can remove it as well okay you can change it you can remove it then I'm mad 8 I'm mad 8 have it here right click copy create link paste open link in new window save so point at it it has this okay so this is what you have and you kind of publish it okay when you publish it you come to the website refresh it and all these have turned this now what do you notice about links you know that's the color the link turns to when we have a link it changes the color and then that's what we call uh, link the, uh, the color of the link and then when we when we point our mouse and it it changes another color you see that yeah we have a link we have a visited okay but that is for HTML anyway all right that is the way you add external sites uh, that's the way you add uh, external links useful sites to your site now I want to say something before I end this session you can actually add an external page so that when you just click on that page it goes straight like let's say that I don't want useful sites okay that I want only my website so I can actually add an external page I just that's I can add like Mr. Shukwe Maker's page and I link it to that page. So when I click here, it takes me straight to that page. Um, yeah, when you click on pages, you can you can I add an external link. When you click on add page, you can also add a blog page if you want to. Yeah, but this case this case is different because we want a lot of external links on a page we don't just want an external page okay so thank you for listening to this session please watch out for other sessions thank you